In late May of 2022, a channel with zero subscribers going by the name of Beastworm Guide posted this video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's your Beastworm Simulator Guide. Today, I'm going to be sure- If I told you at the time that this channel was run by a literal mastermind, you would most likely call me crazy. Well, in the span of one year, this guy went from a random teenage nobody to one of the biggest content creators in his niche. It's obvious that this growth was no accident, and there's more to these videos than meets the eye, which is why in this video, I will be breaking down the growth of Beastworm Guide into three simple steps that you yourself can also use to grow your own channel. Starting off with step number one, uniqueness combined with timing. Now, in order to understand this growth, we have to dive deeper into the context. This channel makes content on a game called Beastworm Simulator, but the game only updates about once a year. The first post on this channel was published a few months after the last update, so you would think that the videos would have gotten less attention because all of the game hype had died down by then, but in reality, the exact opposite happened because this timing was no accident. With the game update losing hype, other YouTubers that played began to lose motivation and began to run dry on content. Seeing this golden opportunity, Beastworm Guide began to upload, and despite being a small channel, people began swarming to the videos because of one specific reason, who else were they gonna watch? One thing you must keep in mind on YouTube is that there are other people out there posting the same content that you want to post, except they do it better. No one's gonna watch your channel if there's someone else that does what you do, but with double the quality. If you want to be successful on YouTube, you have to post content that people can't get anywhere else on the platform. Content that is unique to you. Now, not only did this channel have little competition, but while other channels struggled to post a weekly video, Beastworm Guide had video ideas planned until the end of the year. But more importantly, not only did he have the video ideas, but he knew how to edit those ideas. Leading us into step number two, quality. Now, anyone can have good ideas. The only problem is most people aren't pros in graphic design and video editing. Editing. This results in most channels making low quality content at first, which is totally fine, but what makes this channel stand out is the fact that Beastworm Guide already had experience editing videos and doing graphic design, causing high quality content to be published even in the early stages of the channel. Now I can't teach you perfect thumbnail design in one minute, but I can give you pointers. And for starters, you have to realize that the thumbnail is one of the most important aspects of a video. You could spend 10 hours editing a video, but if your thumbnail sucks, no one will watch it. So in order to present your video well, you have to make sure that your thumbnail is easily readable. Don't bombard the viewer with too much text, and the text that you use make sure it stands out and it's in a nice, interesting, readable font. I linked some fonts in the description that you can use. As for video quality, make sure that your video at least has good resolution and isn't a bunch of grainy footage. No one's gonna watch your video if it's bad quality. And make sure that you have a decent editing software. You don't have to pay a hundred bucks for a good software, by the way. I linked some good recommendations in the description that you can use for free. But even if you're a master at thumbnails, you will be an absolute failure without step three, audience retention. I could make a whole entire video on audience retention, but in simple, YouTube measures how much of your video a viewer watches. And the more they watch, the higher the retention is, and YouTube will begin to push out your video to even more people. So now you know that retention is the foundation of YouTube success. So how do you achieve it? Well, emotion in videos can be a big part of it. Now, I don't mean breaking down into tears for videos. Not that kind of emotion, except that actually could work. Using your voice in the video allows you to express yourself so much more, and while that sounds cheesy and all, it adds so much more depth to your video than just an AI voice would, or even worse, just complete silence. And even if you have a bad mic, this channel was started using a $30 mic from Micro Center. And while editing is extremely important in a video, you don't have to be crazy good at it. Just make sure you're cutting out parts where you aren't talking. If you're still here watching this video, then you've noticed that I haven't shut up once. And that's the point. It keeps the viewer interested. It's something for the viewer to focus on, and even better, if you can add graphics on screen, it just makes the video all the better. Even if you're literally just taking a breath in, you want to make sure you cut it out, because you want to make sure that you're constantly talking, keeping the viewer hooked, and make sure you're not clogging up the video with unnecessary information, because your viewers always love it when you get straight to the point in the video, which just goes to show that to make good videos, you don't need to know how to edit well. You just need to have something interesting to say, and a good video topic. And in the end, if you want to make videos on YouTube, my bonus tip is to just do it. To start a channel and post, because the main reason most channels fail is because they never start in the first place. And just remember that channel growth is slow. My first video literally got seven views. In the end though, it's crazy to think that I've been posting for a full year now. So from the bottom of my heart, seriously, thank you so much to everyone because YouTube literally changed my life and I wouldn't want anything else to be my job. Be sure to remember all of the tips I told you in this video as they're literally the ones
ones I use to start up this channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and good luck.